yeah. have more of a reason Had to be the um, angry or, or, or feel like you're not getting the support. And that's what I'm talking about. That's really what gets me all the time about this scene is that like we're not getting the recognition. You know, if we want to be taken serious as, you know, somebody as like Arizona artists and stuff like that, then, you know, our radio stations have to give us that recognition at some point. Yeah. I mean, you can't keep on uh, having us grind, grind, and grind. That's why, you know, we have people going to California and yeah. stuff like that. You know, like, because these tastemakers here aren't giving us the shine that we need. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, I know countless people here. I mean, the community's been growing since, you know, the last few years. Yeah. So, I mean, to, to not get that type of recognition is kind of frustrating. Yeah. It's real frustrating. And, you know, that's really what what we're we're lacking is just you know local support yeah. you know we have things like az way too active and you know different groups out here that are shining and grinding but you know they don't want to they don't want to give that support they don't want to give that actual you know shine you know we have this early morning or late night that that we have like mm. when nobody's listening yeah. and they think that that's sufficient but they want to put other you know top they want to put other artists just based off name alone yeah. You know, just off name, Kanye drops something or something like that. They're going to, you know, whatever, yeah. drop it and play it. But, you know, you won't even support the people that are actually in your own home state. And then, you know, I, yeah. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's garbage. That's 107.5 is a big radio station in Denver. Mm -hmm. um, and they used to have on Sunday nights after like seven or eight o'clock or something they would have like it was like the local talent night where they would just do like it was like show and prove or something like that yeah they, they have, have that. like that they have that but it's like at like what i think 11 10 it's like super 10, late late at night you know what i'm saying nobody's paying attention yeah. and it's on a you know early morning on a sunday at eight o'clock when everybody you know what i'm saying yeah like how do you expect us to grow or even be seen if if you're gonna play us when we're not being seen or heard, yeah, you know, and then there's these festival promoters that want to put us on stages that aren't, you know, nobody's going to. They're in the back of the of the goddamn arena and shit. Mm. It's like, how do you expect us to grow? Eventually, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get to a point where we're outgrowing our own radio stations. Yeah. I have you know? a question: How do you feel like you guys differential from? California. You know what? What I think we got, and which our main superpower is that Arizona. I think there's never been a more melting pot than Arizona. Everybody's coming from different places. Everybody, yo, know, is you know either repping different things, and it's been become this mold of different different sounds and different people. You know, whether it's singing, I've heard singing rock. You know, we got people like Optimistical that I mean, they do damn near folk music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And hip hop. You know, so the best thing you could do is show up to one of these events or show up to these, you know, things. You start seeing this blend of all types of different genres and music and stuff like that. I think that's our main superpower. So do you feel like a lot of that has to do with because you're from here or does it mean that you guys are actually talented? I believe that we're all talented. I, I like I said, you got to go if you show up to these events. If you start showing up to these, um, you know, I think that's the problem because these local radio stations and local tastemakers aren't showing up to these new event, newer events where the newer artists that are climbing, this newer generation that's climbing, you know, they're not showing up to these events. But something special is going on here. And, you know, and it's a melting pot of not only nobody's talking about like, I'm from here, 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 here. They're putting in the music at this point. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's become something that and when you put it all together, it becomes its own new sound altogether. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I think we we're striving in. And a lot of these radio stations and, and tastemakers aren't seeing that and aren't recognizing it. Mm -hmm. But we and I've heard it all over. You know, it's, there's no reason why why I should have to have a major record label. Uh, you know, I have to be on a major record label to get any type of play on there, no matter how good I am. So no matter how good I am, I can't get on the radio station. I can't, I can't get play. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's trash. I, I, I honestly feel like you guys have a lot of work to do just from an underdog standpoint. You guys got to make your own thing. Like, of course, people are not going to pay attention right away because at the end of the day, in the grand scheme, you guys are still nobodies. Yeah. Like, no matter how no, you feel. One thing that I've seen in venues in Colorado, um, most of the local talent, it's, it's basically like pay to play. Like you mm -hmm. will go and yeah. like buy like a certain amount of tickets and they'll give you those tickets and then it's up to you to sell them to your friends and family, whatever. And then like you'll go open for that for an artist like, um, 
like a tech nine who's like maybe not mainstream and maybe not huge, but like his independent following is something, you know, staggering. You know what I mean? And he's really big in Colorado. Like you're open for an artist like that or like a Stevie Stone. And when you, when the openers are on stage, at least the shows that I've been at, like it's like seven people, like 15 people in the crowd. And it's mm -hmm. like they like slowly, they slowly grow bigger like when the headlining artist comes. Something I realized when I came here, um, I went to a house party like it wasn't even like an actual venue mm -hmm. and there was no there was like no known headlining acts it was all just all just local artists like Paris and the shit was fucking packed like pat like the the love in that place was unbelievable and it's like that again like that's a house party with a bunch of dudes that are just like me and you you know what mm -hmm. I mean like versus a venue with like real professional promoters, like professional security, like, and you got an artist that's like, you, like when you're selling a ticket, you're not selling a ticket to be like, hey, I'm playing this show, you know what I mean? Like, you're like, hey, Tech Nine's playing, you know what I'm saying? Like, come through and then, oh, they see your ass up on stage once they bought the ticket, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not, it's not like that. Like, the amount of love here is, is absolutely ridiculous. Here we have it where our house parties are way more lit than the actual, you know, venues because nobody wants to deal with all these you know, rules and regulations. I get that, you yeah. know, these people have to cover themselves, but I mean, there shouldn't be, you know, where they're they're hindering us from growing or promoting or, you know, uh, you know, there's no reason a house party should be even any more lit than the actual venue. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So what do you want to see? radio stations, these tastemakers, these festivals, these uh, venues, what do you want to see them do? I think essentially what needs to happen is that we need to have like, essentially what needs to happen is we need to have these these radio stations and, and local tastemakers show up to these events, come to these these different ven uh, events that we have, you know, where the Color 8's playing, you know, we have um, Seafoam playing, we have different artists that are playing that are actually doing things and grinding and i want them to acknowledge that you know they need to acknowledge that because there's they're, they're credible you can't be playing playing these dumbass artists and have the same five songs in rotation but then tell me you can't play you don't have any room to play a local artist or somebody no matter how good they are yeah so i mean you need to you need to recognize that you need to shine shine light on artists that are in your you know that's what makes every other big you know big city big you know because they put them you know what I'm saying somebody if anybody just stut you know says any bullshit and they say that from Compton you're gonna think oh that's me yeah. like you know what I'm saying because yeah. Compton has gotten to a point where they, they they've made themselves a solidified place you know what I'm saying yeah. and if we got if we want to do the same thing we got to stand behind our artists just like you know any other major big city stands behind their artists and I don't care we're good enough I know that that's not the question it's not a question if we're good enough it's just when are they gonna start giving the recognition and stand behind us so we could actually grow yeah so well mood uh, mood's been helping me out through this whole uh, web series uh, along with Seafoam sound and you know they're a great group that is you know cultivating artists and determined to grow artists career and and their you know fan base you know and seafoam is another art collective uh we have different people such as um optimistical which range from hip-hop to folk rock we got me at julius king you know we R&B, soul, uh, you know, different range. I also do songs with Optimistical. We got Shade One, who is our producer, DJ, um, and you know, we got Finch, who is our yeah. photographer. We got a lot of talent. Yeah, so we have, you know, we have a lot of talent in 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 this group, and we're growing every day. And all all we want is recognition. Really, is all it is all it comes down to. Els is dropping in. Uh, this June, so be on the lookout for that too.